Hi everyone, welcome back to another food waste reduction cooking video brought to you by Leah's Pantry, Fresh Approach, and the San Mateo County Office of Sustainability. I'm going to be making a cilantro chili soup, but before we jump into the video, um, let me remind all the residents of the Bay Area, any county within the Bay Area, you can get six $6 worth of vouchers to purchase your fruits and vegetables at your local farmer's market or any of the farmer's markets we are in partnership with. So to find out how you can get your $6, watch until the end of the video for further instructions. In previous videos, we have talked about different techniques to preserve our fruits and vegetables in the fridge. Today, we're going to talk about stretching your produce um, with the vegetables that you have laying around in your fridge that look a little tired or that's fresh as how you got them from the grocery store or your local farmer's market. So for this, for this soup, we're going to use some of the vegetables that you might have laying around in your fridge. In this case, I have half an onion that I have from a previous recipe. I have a half of um, a bell pepper that I'm going to use along with the end of my zucchini as well as two stalks of celery to use for my chicken broth, which I'm going to make from boiling my chicken that I'm going to use for um, the soup. I have some cilantro I'm going to be chopping for toppings and the other is going to be for the chicken stock. I have about some like a tablespoon of lime juice, one serrano chili. I have some corn, about a cup of corn and about a tea tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, now that we have gathered all of our ingredients, we're gonna proceed to chop our onions, tomatoes, zucchini, and um, serrano chili pepper. So a good way of repurposing your scraps is to use them for your vegetable stock. In this case, we are making um, a chicken stock. So instead of throwing away or composing, our onion peels, we could just add them to our soups. The same goes with the end of our zucchini. So we don't have to finely chop our onions, we just roughly cut them in medium chunks. And we proceed to do the same for, for our zucchini and tomatoes. For the serrano chili pepper, it's up to your taste. You could just use the end of it for the broth if you like very spicy soups, but if you don't, you could just add half of it um, or if you're not into very spicy food, you could just add a few slices, a few wheels of the serrano pepper. A good way of stretching your produce too is to Properly store your fresh vegetables as soon as you get them from the grocery store or from your local farmer's market. If you're buying any herbs, like cilantro in this case, just get a plastic container or a glass container, add some water, and then just put them in like a flower bouquet and that'll make sure that your cilantro doesn't go bad too quickly. But if you have a chance to put them in a in a bucket of water, you can simply just add them to your stocks, your vegetable stocks, your chicken stock like we're doing today, or you could blend them with some olive oil and freeze them in some ice cube trays. And whenever you need one cube of cilantro, you just take it out of the freezer and you add it to your recipe. So now we are going to saute our onions, or one cup of onions with about one teaspoon of minced garlic or you can use the whole club you can do two cloves of garlic so we are going to saute for about eight to ten minutes now that we have sauteed our onions and garlic we're going to proceed to add our zucchini our half half of the zucchini our tomatoes and some of our serrano peppers. This is up to your spicy, spicy tolerance. I 
personally I'm going to add just a couple, but you can add the entire pepper you like. I'm also going to add half a cup of my sweet corn. Okay. And low medium heat, you want to stir everything pretty well. And then just let it stir fry for another five minutes or until everything has it's well incorporated and properly cooked. Okay, so now that we have sauteed our, all of our veggies for another five minutes, we're gonna proceed to add our chicken that we pulled apart from our chicken broth we made earlier with our veggies, scraps, leftover vegetables that are not looking so pretty anymore. So I just pulled the chicken apart. This is optional, you could just keep it um, all veggies, or you could just, you know, do it as a chicken stew. So I just add the chicken in it, stir well, and we proceed to add our six cups of chicken broth or vegetable broth. Along with some cilantro to add extra flavor, and we'll leave some to top it off when we serve. We stir well. And since this is the last step of our recipe, we are going to add salt to taste. It's always good to leave your salt for the end, because when you are boiling your vegetables, usually they add tons of flavors, and it keeps you from, from um, adding extra salt to your foods, which is not too good for our health. So you stir well again, we cover, and we let it boil for about 10 minutes. Okay, so this is what our final product looks like. I just top it off with some cilantro, finely chopped on top with some of our leftover chiles and a leftover avocado I had in my fridge. And, and just to remind you that the very first 20 viewers to watch this video will be guaranteed to get this $6 worth, uh, worth of vouchers to get your um, fruits and vegetables at your local farmer's market. All you have to do is, if you're watching from Instagram, click the link in our bio and complete our survey so we can send you your, um, your VGRX coupons. But if you're watching from our YouTube channel, go ahead and check the description box and fill out the survey. And you will get your $6 worth of vouchers along with the booklet guide that'll tell you which farmers markets we are in partnership with, where you can go ahead and redeem, um, redeem them. So thank you so much for watching today. Just leave us a comment down below, letting us know what you would like to see next time. If you're willing to try out this recipe, if you will be using your leftover veggies from your fridge, and um, if there is anything else you'd like to learn um, for next time video. Thank you.